apologize, my battery died. Um, I was just saying that in a lot of other places around the world, it seems like the girl is the one to initiate the relationship. I've never traveled to Australia or Africa, so I'm not sure. But certainly in Eastern Europe and Asia, Japan, Taiwan, China, it seems like the girl makes the first move. The other thing I like about, especially Asian cultures, uh, is it is more popular when you're just getting to know somebody before any relationship, right? Just a casual acquaintance. It's more popular to get to know their uh, what they think about having children. See, I, in the United States, I waste a lot of time dating girls and then realizing later on that they want to have children. I wasted six months, a year. Um, in Taiwan, I meet somebody, you know, might even be the, the cashier at a grocery store. It might be somebody I'm staying with at a hostel. It might even be um, an acquaintance of one of my opponents at the Computer Olympiad. It might be, you get the idea, just random acquaintances and within half an hour of talking to them already we're talking about what we think about the future. You know, do we plan on going back to school? Do, do, what do we think about children? Our career paths? And you can screen out a lot of people before you waste three to six months dating. And so, um, in the United States, it's very unpopular, right? People are very guarded. We, we don't even like to stay in hostels here in the United States, right? Um, so, June 11, 2011, the first time in my life a, a girl initiates a relationship with me. Uh, June 13 of 2010, um, I uh, had just broken up with a girl, and I, real, uh, I realized that life can go on without a girl, and I went on my first date as a single guy, right? Uh, I'm recording this on June 16, 2020, as a public service announcement, you know, if you're a single guy, especially if you, if you lost a relation, if you, lo if you broke up over the COVID lockdowns, um, and now we're reopening, right? Uh, don't be afraid to go see a movie, go to a restaurant now that they're, they're, they're reopened. As a single guy, right? Um, uh, a lot of people seem to, or, or better yet, go on vacation as a single guy. It, it's a lot more flexible, it's cheaper, it's, uh, it, it, it's just as fun, right? Even more so in some cases, right? And then June 16th, my friend graduated, and we had this party that I just talked about. And then June 17th, I had met another girl. Uh, this was 2014. Um, and big learning experience with her. Obviously, it wasn't marriage material. Uh, unfortunately, she wanted children as well. Uh, that's a big barrier. That, that, that's a big problem for me. Uh, one thing I love about COVID and doing all the dating online is that people can answer very freely if they what they think about children. You don't have to waste your time on that. But it's only online. And plus, I can put in any location I want on the dating website, right? I don't have to put the United States, uh, which was also very nice. Um, so June 11 through 17, because of these four anniversaries, I, some, I used to call June 11 and 13 my twin anniversaries, but now that I celebrate these other two anniversaries, June 11 through June 17, I sometimes call my 10 million mile miracle now, because all these events happened along the 10 million mile uh, arc along the, uh, in the solar system, right, between June 11th and 17. Um, so, uh, and um, it's, a, it, it's kind of a good uh, opening to summer every year now that I celebrate my 10 million mile miracle. I wish my friend would acknowledge me this year. Now that it's the 15th anniversary, I'll give it another try and uh, I'll make another update on that. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.